All right, and finally, the last of the contradictions, last of the three contradictions, and the most serious of all of them uh, is Isaiah 14, verse 12. I'm going to show you what the NIV does there if you're not aware of it. Okay, let me show you this one. It's unbelievable. Okay, first we have the King James Version. It says, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground which didst weaken the nations? Lucifer. Okay, Satan, another name for Satan there. This is why he got kicked out of heaven, why he lost his position as the anointed cherub that covereth. Okay, Lucifer. Here we have the NIV. It says, How you have fallen from heaven, O morning star, son of the dawn. You have been cast down to the earth, you who once laid low the nations. Morning star. They took out Lucifer and they put in morning star. Now let me show you why that's very, very, very bad. See, it says here, you know, that uh, you said in your heart, and all these things, I will... Uh, I will, I will make myself like the Most High, okay? That was the sin there that's being described. This, you know, and it says here the overthrow of Satan because of pride and rebellion. So it's saying Satan here. But why would they use the term morning star? Let me, go, let me show you why this is super bad. Back to the King James Bible. Go back to Revelation chapter 22 jump down here to verse 26 I Jesus or I'm sorry verse 16 22 16 I Jesus have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star Jesus Christ is the morning star you say well you know maybe the NIV renders it differently no actually they don't and I'll show you. Revelation 22, verse 16 in the NIV. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to give you this testimony for the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright morning star. Notice, too, up here, this is kind of strange. I noticed this as I was doing the study. There's a comma. I, comma, Jesus, comma. It's not like that in the King James Bible. It just says, I'll show you quick here. Verse 16, I, Jesus, have sent. So I don't know. Might be something to that too. But the point is, right here, they use the term morning star. Back in Isaiah 14, 12, it says that the morning star was kicked out of heaven because he tried to be God. What are they trying to say here? Is Jesus the same as Satan? That's a big problem. But I want to show you something else that's interesting. You say, well, they're not trying to make that connection. That's... That's ridiculous. What a ridiculous argument. Well, here I have a New International Version, Spirit of the Reformation Study Bible, which is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, the Spirit of the Reformation is not the NIV. And here you have the verse again in Isaiah 14, 12. Notice the little W. If you go over here, there's your W. It says 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 19. So it's referring you, it's sending you, it's saying morning star, and it sends you to 2 Peter 1, verse 19. So let's go to 2 Peter 1, verse 19. Okay? It says here, and we have the word of the prophets. Let me back it out a little bit. We have the word of the prophets made more certain, and you will do well to pay attention to it as to a light shining in a dark place until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. What are they trying to say there? Is that uh, Satan that rises in your hearts? But look at, look at this. Again, you have a little B there beside it. And you go over here. Where is it? 19? B. Revelation 22.16. So it takes you from Isaiah 14, 12 to first, I'm sorry, 2 Peter 1, 19, and then it takes you right to Revelation 22, 16. Right there. So yes, the NIV people, this one especially right here that I'm using, 
this Reformation Study Bible, it directs you and ties in the morning star, or, well, Lucifer, the fall of Satan in Isaiah 14, and it ties it right back to Revelation 22:16 with Jesus Christ. This is what you call Satanism right here. That's the devil at work, not the Holy Spirit. But I'll show you too, from their own writings, what they have to say about this. It says here, there are three verses in Isaiah 14 that use Sheol, verses 9, 9, 11, and 15. The passage is the taunt song against the king of Babylon, verses 4 through 23. That would include verse 12. It is highly poetic and pictures the fall of the king and his reception by kings already dead who marveled at his fall. So you see it right there. It's highly poetic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, that's the kind of mentality uh, that was behind the translation of the NIV. Absolutely ridiculous. I don't believe that those men were saved. And it's weird, too. I'm going to do this. I'm going to show a little bit more in another video. I'm not going to get into it in this one. But they talk all throughout the thing. It's, we received more light. We're more informed now. We have more light. We received new light. Light, 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 light. All the time. Very interesting. Because if you go through the degrees of the Masonic Lodge, they say, what is it that you most desire? More light. Our brother here has come to us in darkness, and he's coming for the light. Light, 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 light. Satan is the angel, appears as an angel of light. NIV is a satanic Bible. It contradicts itself. They changed the truth of God into a lie. Does the NIV contradict itself? Yeah, I just showed you three of them. Don't use the NIV. And don't say that the NIV is the same as the King James Bible as some other words changed. That's a lie, okay? If you support this NIV and this, all this junk over here, something's wrong with you, okay? Use the King James Bible, believe it, and that's about it. All right, thank you for watching.